When you call 911 for a heart attack, you expect an ambulance quickly, but in Floyd County, getting an ambulance within 10 minutes been a coin flip. Wave News troubleshooter Mark Stevens says that county leaders are at an impasse on how to improve response times. New Chapel EMS has been the county's 911 ambulance contractor for six years. A review board critical of their performance was dissolved in January, but not before they recommended hiring someone else for ambulance service. Attention Greenville first responders, New Chapel EMS. PD's requesting assistance reference overdose. Shortly before 11, on December 30th last year, Lafayette Township firefighters began heading to this neighborhood on an overdose call. Dispatchers called a second time for the county's contracted ambulance service. I wasn't clear. Do you have a unit starting the Frontier Trail? Dispatchers told the emergency responders the call was serious. Squad 67, squad 3, subject is unresponsive. Agonal breathing, they're starting CPR. Lafayette firefighters responded in one of their ambulances, but they can only provide basic care. They asked the location of squad 67. New Chapel Chief and CEO Jamie Knoll answered. We've got uh, 12 in the Okay, prepare for an intercept. Lafayette firefighters loaded the patient and the two ambulance crews sorted out where to meet so they could get the patient more advanced care on the way to the hospital. Squad 367, we're at 150 and 64. Claire, meet me at Hollander Point, right at the corner where Derek Queen is. That meeting would never happen. We're not getting the quality of service that we're supposed to be getting. Floyd County Commissioner John Schellenberger is the last commissioner still serving who signed the contract with New Chapel. He regrets that decision. I didn't know then what I know now. Schellenberger spent a year tracking and calculating response times for every ambulance dispatch every day. Right around 24, 2500 right here. What he found deeply concerned the county's EMS advisory board. We're paying for two and a half ambulances but we're not for sure where they're stationed and where they're coming from. The county pays New Chapel $220,000 a year for two full-time and one part-time ambulance. The contract says New Chapel believes two and a half ambulances can respond to 911 calls in under 10 minutes, 95% of the time. Remember what Noel radioed on the 30th, though. Schellenberger found month after month, New Chapel's ambulances took more than 10 minutes to get to a 911 call on every other dispatch. Wave calculated response times for the week of November 20th last year using Schellenberger's method. We found New Chapel ambulances needed to be on scene in under 10 minutes on 65 calls that week to meet the standard in its contract. Its ambulances only met it 35 times. They've signed the contract send monthly payments and nobody's watching the store to make sure that the contract's being met. Gary Kleeman managed Harrison County's EMS service for years. He also served on the now dissolved EMS advisory board. He says the board worried about where New Chapel's ambulances were coming from because New Chapel is contracted for emergency ambulance service in both Floyd and next door Clark County. We have to know that those ambulances are staffed and located in the county and not being utilized routinely in other counties. 911 records from December 30th show eight New Chapel ambulances worked in Floyd County that day, but every single ambulance also responded to 911 calls in neighboring Clark County. If they were strategically placed throughout the county, their stomped, the response time would be incredibly a lot lower than what they are. And during peak times, and it doesn't matter where it's at, we will share assets. CEO Jamie Knoll says he had 10 ambulances working on December 30th. Six responded to Floyd County calls in a two and a half hour period, well above his contracted amount. So if you have five EMS runs that come out within a 35 minute period in Floyd County, you're not gonna cover them with two and a half ambulances and vice versa in Clark County. Noel says when 911 gets busy, his supervisors will call in backup crews to get ambulances where they're needed. He also flatly disagrees with Schellenberger's analysis of New Chapel's response times. I can't speak to his data because I've got no way of verifying it. Okay. And there's been some allegations that that data was manipulated, so I can't speak to that. Okay. I can only speak to what our average response time was. It's computed 
by the sheriff's office and it's always been 10, nine minutes less, always within national average. The latest data from the sheriff's office shows New Chapel ambulances took nine and a half minutes to drive to a scene. Some are gonna be a little bit longer. Our goal is to always get there as fast as possible. Noel reports that number back to the county as his response time. But when you include the average time it takes to get the ambulance rolling and subtract the average dispatch time, New Chapel's response time increased to more than 13 minutes on average. The only thing I have to go on is past performance, and past performance has not been stellar. Floyd County asked for bids for a new EMS contract in the fall. Two companies responded, American Medical Response and New Chapel EMS. New Chapel is the low bidder, asking for $766,000 to provide three full-time ambulances. The EMS Advisory Board sent its recommendation to the commissioners before being dissolved in January. Renegotiating with New Chapel EMS was third. I don't know if that will work out. Now, New Chapel EMS put in the low bid for the Floyd County contract, but it was not the low bidder when Clark County put ambulance service up for bid early last year. In our story coming up tomorrow, we look into the political connections between New Chapel's leader and the politicians voting on these contracts. Mark Stevens, Wave News.